Hi everyone, this is Chang Nguyen, and today we're going to take a look at two mobile television entertainment experiences, both on HTC devices running Windows Mobile. On the top, we have the HTC Amagio, which runs VCast uh, television service from Verizon Wireless, which operates on MediaFlow, which is a Qualcomm technology, so your television content doesn't stream over the internet. Rather, there's a separate terrestrial broadcasting antenna that picks up service that way. On the bottom, we're taking a look at streaming service from Sling Player Mobile, which you actually do have to purchase a separate set-top box, which streams your home television, cable, or media content over the internet using Verizon Wireless's EVDO CDMA network, since this is a Verizon Wireless Touch Pro 2. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how smooth the service is, the buffer times, and if there are any audio lags or chops. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the volume on the top device, which is the HTC Amagio, and see how that performs, and we're going to go ahead and switch through channels. So here, we actually have a more finger-friendly intuitive menu. You can actually flick to scroll and change the channels. We're watching SpongeBob right now. Little audio and video chop right there. In general, the surface is pretty clear. Sometimes you do experience a little bit of choppiness in audio and video performance, as you see again right there after you change the channel. And it looks like we have no TV signal right now. The interface is pretty nice, it's actually very finger friendly. You have large icons so you can tap on it, bring up programming guides where you can flick through or tap. And it does support gestures so you can swipe to change the channels, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down on the top one and take a look at the bottom one here where we have Sling Player Mobile running on the Touch Pro 2 in landscape mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and increase the volume. As you can see here, um, the controls are not as finger friendly. You do kind of have to use a stylus or the hardware keyboard on the bottom to actually change the channel. Um, you can go ahead and pull up the programming guide, Let's change it to channel 9. So a little bit of choppiness at the beginning where it's buffering. The quality isn't as crisp and clean as the media flow service, but it is definitely watchable and it is actually quite good. It's a little bit of a delay after you hit the channel that you want, but once the channel starts loading, the quality is pretty good and you don't really notice too many audio choppiness or video lags. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the volume. And we're going to take a look now at the Motorola Crave, which is another device. I'm going to go ahead and power that on. Go ahead and set that aside for a minute so you can watch the two. The Motorola Crave actually has a clear touch screen that you can press through. It's a consumer device, it definitely has a smaller screen than the HTC Imagio, but still uses the same VCast television experience that the Imagio uses. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the VCast service. So on the top here, we have the Crave, and on the bottom, we have the Imagio. 
The Crave um, definitely has a smaller screen. You can go ahead and expand the screen here, but the display gets a little bit distorted on the Imagio to fill out the screen. On the Crave, it's still very finger friendly. You still have the on-screen menus, which you can uh, scroll through. Um, unfortunately, it is not a capacitive or it is not a resistive touch screen, so I can't use a stylus. Um, you do need to use your fingers. Um, the smaller screen makes the control a little bit harder, but the experience is still the same. You still get all the programming guide, the info button, and it really does replicate a set box like experience on the Vcast Mobile TV experience. So, on the top, the Crave, Motorola Crave. The bottom, the HTC Imagio, and then here we have the Touch Pro 2 running Sling Player Mobile. So this is Chung Win, and that's a look at mobile television on your mobile device. Thanks so much.